In this video, we will quickly understand the difference between a ballistic missile and a cruise missile. The difference is very simple. Cruise missiles fly in an almost straight line and at a lower altitudes. Look at the word cruise. It means the missile has to cruise or fly smoothly in the air before hitting the target. They have a small inbuilt jet engine that helps the missiles to fly most of the time in the air. In addition to that, these missiles also have inbuilt navigation and they can travel at a very low altitude for avoiding enemy detection. On the other hand, if you look at a ballistic missile, a ballistic missile has a rocket engine. It doesn't have a jet engine. The main difference between them is that jets get the oxygen to burn fuel from the air and rockets carry their own oxygen, which allows them to operate in space. When launched, it follows a ballistic trajectory, which is in the shape of a parabola. So basically, you launch a ballistic missile, it goes in the air, it forms a parabola, then it falls on the target wherein the gravity also comes into play. Cruise missiles also form a comparatively smaller parabola. After that, it goes straight and can perform a variety of maneuvers depending on the program that is set. A ballistic missile can go up to an altitude of 1500 to 2000 kilometers, which is in the lower Earth orbit. This altitude depends on how far is your target. Based on that, a certain altitude will be needed. On the other hand, a cruise missile can go up to an altitude of a few hundred kilometers or even less. It again has to come down at a low altitude to cruise in the air before hitting the target. Now, ballistic missiles don't have an option of cruising. The International Space Station is located at an altitude of around 400 kilometers. A ballistic missile goes even higher than the ISS. But a cruise missile's altitude is lower than the ISS. Now suppose there is a ground-based radar placed over here by the enemy. A radar has a certain field of view and there is a maximum range at which targets can be detected using a radar. So imagine, here is an enemy radar and this is the radar's field of view. That means a ballistic missile will be detected much earlier compared to a cruise missile. So this is the advantage of cruising at a lower altitude. The lower the altitude, the harder it will be for a radar to detect. Now if you look at the speed of a ballistic missile, the maximum velocity a ballistic missile can achieve is around 24,000 km per hour. I am giving a rough estimate. An ICBM can strike a target within a 10,000 km range in about 30 to 35 minutes. A cruise missile can fly more than the speed of sound, that is Mark II, Mark III. The most well-known supersonic missile is the Indian Brahmos missile. It is currently the fastest operational supersonic missile, capable of flying at a speed of 3700 km per hour. So these are the broad differences between a ballistic and a cruise missile. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.